There could be big changes coming to the way you receive your mail. Canada Post was told today it will be losing a billion dollars a year by the end of this decade, unless it makes some dramatic changes. Mike Lecouture has the story. As a small business owner, Richard Hoffer rarely relies on Canada Post, but he remembers when snail mail was essential for his father's store. His business, which was selling watches and clocks, uh, depended on the mail every day, and when there was a strike, it was a catastrophe. The times have changed, but Canada Post's business model has not. Compare transaction mail per address in the last four years. There's been a nearly 24% decline, which is expected to continue. Now, if the Crown Corporation doesn't make drastic changes, it won't be a check in the mail, it'll be a bill for the $1 billion operating deficit expected in just seven years. So something has got to give. The Conference Board of Canada says there will have to be cuts in service and jobs. Labour accounts for 70% of total costs at Canada Post. Eliminating door-to-door uh, -door delivery for the one-third of Canadians who get it now would actually be the one option that would save the most money, uh, $576 million a year by 2020. Okay. Canada Post agrees they're going to have to make big changes. The future is more parcels because of online shopping and a lot less letters. Uh, we see that today and we're going to see that in spades in the future. The union thinks the solution is expanding into new areas like banking, especially in remote communities. There's some part of the country, you go to the north, they don't have any bank. So, it's, uh, 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 so the postal service can go there and do and provide good service. Now selling that idea to the public may be an uphill battle. I'd rather see the money put into, into health care, especially for someone my age, than, than to pay uh, somebody uh, $25 an hour to bring junk mail, unwanted junk mail, to my office. Everyone will get a chance to give their opinion. Starting tomorrow, Canada Post is launching public consultations through their website and regular mail. Michael Couture, Global News, Ottawa.